All right, we're gonna make a uh, quick video on installing the SDK, the Software Development Toolkit for G Cloud. Um, and so this is gonna allow us to deploy our MERN stack applications live to the internet using Google Cloud. So we are watching a, a student desktop, Paul's our our student guinea pig, thank you, Paul. Let's do a Google search for G Cloud SDK. Everyone can follow along. You will do these installs. Now, um, that second link there, I think is Cloud SDK is a set of tools, including G Cloud. Um, I, I think either one will get you there. Let's click on the second link. And... Um, Let's see, do we need to create an account? No. Um, there is the Google Cloud CLI. Do you see that link there? Yeah, let's click on that. Um, sometimes just finding the download. Okay, let's go back twice. It might be that first link on the on the search, if you go back to your Google search. The first link led to that uh, cloud CLI. It's the same place. Yeah. Okay, let's click on the first link. Oh, oh, you clicked on, you clicked on, uh, this is, yeah, this is where we wanna go. So show them what you clicked on. Yeah, it was just the first link. Okay, it was the first link, okay. Install G Cloud CLI. Um, there is a link, download the Google CLI installer. So let's click on that. Yep. Okay. And this is where we're starting. Okay. So uh, let's, let's hold here. Um, let me ask you a question. If you click on council uh, on, the, on the website, you see up on the website, um, you are logged in with your with your personal Gmail account. Is that correct? So that's your personal Gmail account, and this is also you've already registered for the free credits. Am I right? So if you do a search for credits, um, we should have some free credits. I guess if you click on the one of those, I'm not sure which one. We should see, yeah, there's our free credits. Okay, so, you know, as being a member of this class, we registered for the G Cloud free credits. If you don't have this step, okay, you, you should have this by now, but that's not necessarily what we're doing today. Let's go back to the installer. Okay, and let's click on next. And uh, we just did the matrix there. I know Kung Fu, we read all of that. And let's click on, um, well, do you want a single user or all user? I mean, that's really up to you. Do you have multiple users on this computer that you use or single user? Uh, that's kind of up to you. Uh, all users is more broad, can't hurt. Uh, sure. Okay, then you have to click on uh, a little warning. You have to accept that warning. And this is the, the default location, so we're looking good. Let's click on next. And let's, yeah, all that. I don't really care about the beta, beta command, so let's go ahead and click install. And um, this takes a minute. If I remember correctly, installing all of these tools. Um, so let's just, let's just wait and get everyone installing these tools. Okay, that took a couple minutes, so the obvious next step is for Paul to click on next. And I like clicking all the boxes. Let's leave those checked and let's click finish. And now, okay. This is a good next step. Okay, uh, I'm going to wait for everyone to catch up. So Paul, hang here, because we do need to configure some things in this command line. Okay, well, the obvious answer here is you must sign in. Would you like to sign in? It says you must. I don't know why they're even prompting. So, yeah, let's go ahead and click yes, type a capital Y. I'm sure a lowercase y would work, but let's go ahead and give it its capital. 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and click on the account that has the credits. The account that has the credits. That is the account that has the credits. Let's continue. And uh, again, we're going to matrix this reading and allow. You are now authenticated. Now let's keep that window open. Okay, and let's go back to the command prompt window. Okay, and it has no projects. Would you like to create one? Uh, meh, yeah, sure, why not? We'll create a project. Now, if you guys have a project here, I don't know, it'll tell you that, but in this case, let me ask you this. Does anyone already have a project and it's... It's, it's asking me to enter a numeric choice or type value. Okay, so for Ben, it's asking for a choice. Let's look. So on some number of you, you already have a project created. So Ben already has a project created. Liam, it sounds like you already have a project created. Go ahead and select that project. If, it, if it's a random project name and number, it's like a random thing, it's probably option number one. Is that correct for you, Liam? It's option number one? Ben, is it option it's number like, one for you? Gothic, agility. Yeah, what, it doesn't even matter. Okay. Just select, select the project that you've already created. That's fine. Now this says, uh, enter a project ID. Uh, just call it, you know, first project here. And I like the no spaces. We got the camel casing. That's fine. That should be fine. First project, enter. Okay. And really cool. Um, this, is, this is the end of the installation. So it's a basic install. You created a project. We're probably not even going to use this project. Um, nonetheless, we now have... Now let's go ahead and type in uh, gcloud. The, the, uh, and, and let's hit um, enter to see. Okay, it says um, it's a recognized command, right? It, it's not a, you didn't give it a full command, but at this point, this G Cloud command is recognized, and that's really all we need. Go ahead and hit enter there. And at this point, you should be able to just uh, close the window. If you hit enter a couple times more, uh, you're just going to keep giving you options for that command. Just go ahead and hold enter. It'll scroll through and bring you back. These are all the different ways you can run the G Cloud command. Um, if you hit enter a couple more times, what does it do? Okay. Um, that should be the end. So you should be able to close this window. Now let's just open up another command prompt window. Just uh, click on start, type in CMD, um, and just type in gcloud again here. And it's the same thing. You're getting a recognized command, and that's the point, um, that now this command is installed and we can use it. So I'll stop the recording.